Welcome, film enthusiasts. Today, we delve into the legacy of George Macready, a stalwart of classic Hollywood cinema. Whether you're a seasoned cinephile or just discovering the allure of vintage films, Macready's contributions to the silver screen are bound to leave a lasting impression. Picture this, the dimly lit theaters of yesteryear, where George Macready's commanding presence graced the screen, leaving audiences in awe. Now, let's embark on a journey to unravel some intriguing facets of this classic Hollywood actor. George Macready, born in 1899, carved his niche with a distinctive voice and a penchant for playing suave, sophisticated villains. His filmography is a tapestry woven with memorable performances, from the cunning Waldo Lidecker in Laura to the enigmatic Mr. Mabuse in The Great Sinner. Macready's versatility allowed him to seamlessly transition between film and stage, showcasing a depth that resonated with audiences across the decades. Amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood's golden age, Macready's impact extended beyond the screen. As we explore the nuances of his craft, we invite you to share your personal stories. Have you ever found inspiration in Macready's performances? Do you have a cherished memory related to this classic Hollywood actor that lingers in the corridors of your cinephile heart? We're eager to hear your stories and memories. Drop them in the comments below and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of George Macready. From the silver screen to personal anecdotes, let's keep the conversation alive. George Macready, known for his compelling portrayals of villains in Hollywood, had a fascinating connection to literature and academia. In his movie debut in Commando's Strike at Dawn, he played a schoolteacher, uttering the lines, I'm writing a novel myself. Interestingly, in his final film, The Return of Count Jorgen, he took on the role of a professor, delivering his last line as, You haven't read my book. Beyond the silver screen, Macready was more than the sinister characters he portrayed. Contrary to his on-screen persona, he was an accomplished and cultured art collector. In partnership with his good friend Vincent Price, another master of villainous roles, Macready co-owned an art gallery in Los Angeles. Adding another layer to his story, Macready asserted that he was a descendant of the renowned 19th century Shakespearean actor William Macready. While claims of ancestry should be approached with caution, it adds an intriguing aspect to his personal narrative. George Macready's career showcased a duality, on one side, the embodiment of malevolence on screen, and on the other, a man with a refined taste for art, and a connection to the rich history of Shakespearean theater. The coincidence in his debut and final roles adds a literary touch to his cinematic journey, emphasizing his range as an actor. In the end, George Macready's legacy goes beyond the characters he portrayed revealing a multifaceted individual whose interests span both the world of art and the stage, adding depth to his contributions to the entertainment industry. George Macready, a distinguished actor known for his compelling portrayals of villains in Hollywood, had a rich background rooted in academia and literature. Graduating from classical high school in his hometown of Providence, Rhode Island, Macready went on to earn his degree from Brown University in 1921. His early career saw him touring the provinces with Catherine Cornell in productions like Romeo and Juliet and the Barretts of Wimpole Street. The 1934 edition of the Brown University alumni newsletter even mentioned his growing family, with his wife Elizabeth Dana being part of the acting company and their child under the care of family in New York. Beyond the stage, Macready's life held intriguing details, such as his housekeeper embroidering the titles of all his movies onto an Afghan. This personal touch to his cinematic journey added a unique aspect to his connection with his work. While Macready is best remembered for his on-screen malevolence, his multifaceted legacy extends beyond the characters he portrayed. His academic background, theatrical achievements, and personal anecdotes reveal a man whose interests span both the world of art and the stage, contributing significantly to the entertainment industry. George Macready, a versatile actor known for his compelling villainous portrayals, had a significant impact beyond the silver screen. His partnership with Vincent Price led to the opening of the iconic Little Gallery in Beverly Hills in 1943. Frequented by Hollywood elites such as Charles Lafton, Tallulah Bankhead, Barbara Hutton, Fanny Bryce, Catherine Hepburn, and Greta Garbo, the gallery became a social hub where stars mingled and art enthusiasts gathered. Macready's commitment to the gallery waned as his movie career demanded more attention, eventually leading to its closure. 
In addition to his cinematic achievements, Macready delved into television, expressing particular fondness for his roles in The Diamond as Big as the Ritz and Thunder in the Night. These TV ventures showcased his adaptability and enduring appeal across different mediums. Beyond the world of entertainment, George Macready's personal life unfolded with the joys of fatherhood. He and his wife, Elizabeth Dana, welcomed three children, Michael, Marcia, and Elizabeth. This facet of his life added a familial touch to the narrative of a man often associated with on-screen malevolence. In summary, George Macready's legacy is not confined to his villainous roles, but extends to his influential collaboration in the art world, his foray into television, and his role as a devoted family man. This multifaceted perspective provides a more comprehensive understanding of the actor's impact on both the entertainment industry and his personal life. George Macready, renowned for his villainous roles in Hollywood, shared a close friendship with Vincent Price, forged during their stage performances in Victoria Regina with Helen Hayes. In a letter, Price expressed gratitude for Macready, his brother on stage, and understudy, referring to him as a swell egg and a source of appreciation. This camaraderie between the two actors extended beyond the spotlight. Macready's demise in July 1973 resulted from emphysema, and in a final act of generosity, his body was donated to the School of Medicine at the University of California, Los Angeles. This decision reflected Macready's commitment to contributing even in his passing. Notable among Macready's life anecdotes is the scar on his right cheek, a remnant from a college day car accident. Riding in a Model T Ford with fraternity brothers on an icy road, the vehicle collided with a telephone pole, propelling Macready through the windshield. The ensuing makeshift medical attention from a veterinarian left him with not just stitched skin, but scarlet fever, highlighting the unpredictable turns in his life. These facets provide a unique lens into George Macready's life, unveiling the layers behind the on-screen antagonist. From enduring friendships to his posthumous contribution to medical education and the unforeseen consequences of a college mishap, Macready's narrative extends beyond the cinematic realm. As we draw the curtains on this cinematic journey through the enigmatic realm of George Macready's performances, we invite you, our cherished audience, to step into the spotlight of introspection. Take a moment to traverse the corridors of your memories, where Macready's commanding presence and theatrical finesse have left an indelible mark. Whether you were captivated by the sly cunning of his villains or moved by the nuanced depth of his protagonists, George Macready's legacy is etched into the very fabric of entertainment. Now, we beckon you to share your personal tapestry of experiences with this thespian virtuoso. What scenes linger in your mind? Which performances ignited the flames of admiration within your cinematic soul? This is more than a mere farewell, it's an invitation to commune with fellow aficionados and weave a collective ode to the artistry of George Macready. Your stories, reflections, and insights are the threads that bind us in a celebration of the profound impact he has had on the tapestry of entertainment. As we bid adieu to this chapter, we extend our deepest gratitude for joining us on this exploration of a talent that transcends time. George Macready, with his indomitable spirit and thespian prowess, has forever enriched the landscape of cinema. Thank you for sharing this moment, and thank you for being a part of the everlasting resonance of George Macready in the world of entertainment.